Howdy folks and welcome to the 16th episode of Just the Two of Us, Two Artists, Two Songs, Two Questions on Tuesday night. Tonight I'm joined by the Canadian country singer Alora Taylor. She just released a new single a week or two so I'm excited to talk with her all about that. Then she also designs all of her own clothes for shows and does amazing things so let's jump right in. So tell me a little bit about this new single that you just put out. So you wrote it, you made the clothes, like what, what was the process since you were the one that wrote it, you're the one that made the clothes for it, you're the one that did the cover shoot for it. Like, what was the thought process behind um, conveying the emotion of the song through the cover art, through the outfit? Like, just walk me through that. Um, a lot of it was just kind of trial and error <laughs> and kind of seeing what worked. Um, it's, it is hard to take photos of yourself sometimes no, I understand. Yeah. I have taken a lot of photos yeah. for myself too, like with the self timer, the tripod, getting everything yeah. ready. So, okay, continue what you're so saying. So it was kind of, I had the original idea was kind of something simple on like a blank wall, kind of sitting, being kind of moody or whatever, and it just was not working. <laughs> so I was like, I know, I'll lie down on my guitar and make it all dramatic and like over the top because the song's kind of like a little moody and. Um, so I kind of wanted to convey something more dramatic, I guess, <laughs> with it. And I kind of, the, on the outfit, it has little flowers made out of rhinestones. And it was kind of like, because the song is basically the thought process of leaving an unhealthy relationship. And sort of by the end, you decide that you're going to choose yourself and you're not going to deal with this crap anymore. <laughs> and kind of like, that flower, like a flower blooming, is kind of the idea behind that, because you know, it slowly goes. Um, but yeah, it was just sort of, kind of just going with the flow and seeing what worked. We actually were, I don't know if you can hear it, there's a dog howling upstairs. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just a little bit. It's just not ignore him. <laughs> He's a beagle, so he howls. Um, but we recorded the song uh, at home here, and um, my boyfriend has a studio. So um, he produced that all. So everything was kind of DIY. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, so is your boyfriend like a professional producer or does he just like help you out with your projects? He does more, he's like a trained pianist and um, he mostly does like hip hop music to be honest and beats and stuff. And he's been in bands like his whole life and stuff. And uh, so he helps me out with, um, my production <laughs> was cheap. That's so <laughs> that's so cool that like you have figured out how to handle all of that because it can get so expensive. Mm -hmm. Like all of the costs just add up so quickly, and so it's really impressive that you're able to do such like high quality work with oh. doing it all like in house. That that's just really really interesting. What are you gonna play for us tonight? I was gonna do a week or two just because you know I'm nice single. Sorry, I ain't a strong enough word. Lord, in the ground, worse than dirt. You know, right now, I'm just mad. Give me a week or two, and I'll be right back. You held him tight, and I held on good. You held him longer than I ever should. It hurts to leave it. Nothing's changed. Oh, either I'm gonna lose you, or I'm gonna lose myself. Cause I've been through enough of this hell. There's gotta be something else. I made my bed and I did like expensive sheets can't hide. Thing about me was always new. 
the recorded version of it which is always <laughs> a great thing to know whenever you hear an artist sing live the first time so great job so you wrote the song high school reunion which i love it's such a great song and i love like your live version of it as well and it sort of talk and it sort of talks about how you thought you kind of like be further along when you're like 10 year high school reunion hit um which i think a lot of people can relate to i know i can and so staying motivated and following your dreams can be kind of a hard thing. Um, so what are some things that you do to stay motivated and inspired to keep your dream going? That's a really good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, so when I uh, graduated college, I graduated college just a few years ago, um, I had this idea that like the more hours that I put in in one single day, like if I put in 20 hours in one single day, like, and just kept on doing that every day, like working until I was passed out, stay up until five in the morning, trying to contact venues, make social media posts, do all this stuff, that it would get me where I wanted to go a lot quicker. Which I think to a certain extent, that's true. Like putting in effort every single day or putting in a certain amount of effort. But like the point I was doing it was just making me burn out and was making me like, feel like oh my gosh I put in all this work and then I got two likes on this or nobody came to my show or you know it can be very discouraging at times um it's honestly more discouraging <laughs> more often than it is encouraging yeah. it feels like mm -hmm. um but so I I reached a breaking point where like a few months before the pandemic I was just having anxiety attacks constantly because I was staying up way too late, working way too hard, getting my hopes up so big and then getting them crushed. Um, and I already had an anxiety disorder that I knew that I had, but I never treated it. And so I started going to therapy whenever, just a few months before the pandemic started. And so I go to that once a week. Um, and my therapist has helped me put in like some, uh, you know, kind of like safeguards and check-ins whenever I know that I've been working too hard about ways to sort of just like recalibrate myself, um, which has been really helpful. So I try not to, um, I try to make like a certain time when I just have to stop working, like at 10.30, like I don't care if I'm halfway through a video, I have to stop to like let my brain rest so that I can go to sleep um, and I'm not just like wired all night. Um, and. Honestly, I think that like what it all comes down to is taking care of my mental health and my physical health, like through eating right and exercising and taking mental breaks and journaling and all that sort of stuff is what's helped me not be burnt out. And so that's a, that's a good question. And it's <laughs> something that um, I'd be interested to know what your answer for that is. Like, how do you stay from being burnt out? The main thing for me is recognizing what I can control and what I can't control and doing it from myself basically not I like I realized this is very recent that I, a few days ago I realized this <laughs> that I everything I do is like to try to get prove myself or try to get approval from somebody else and that was just kind of trained into me like throughout my childhood and stuff um and realizing that none of it that I was like working towards was for me like it was to make myself look better or to prove that I am good enough or um, get approval for whatever <laughs> reason and uh, letting that go and just freeing myself up and focusing on what I can control. I can't control what other people think. I can't control whether people listen to my music, but I can control um, what I think of me. I can control if I write songs or I don't, <laughs> or I put them out or I don't and just kind of having more fun with it. And yeah, that's a, that's a good point. That's a big deal too is like, if I feel like a song I put out is good, why would I get, you know, discouraged when only I get like a thousand streams in a week or like I don't get a lot of people to listen to my music. I was trying to figure out what song I wanted to sing tonight and I think that I'm going to sing the song that's going to be my next 
uh, single at the beginning of 2022. Um, I've never played it on this IG Live before, so. I'm excited to hear it. <laughs> um, so the song is called The Woods, um, but it's not W-O-O-D-S, it's W-O-U-L-D-S. Oh, I love that. Um, so this is The Woods. <laughs> Maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree Cause not the only thing I see Are questions coming down like falling leaves I didn't mean to stay here for quite this long I thought I'd find my answers and move along But now I'm lost and I can't get out Surrounded by towering trees of doubt Would I be your bride if I hadn't run? Would you like the person that I've become? Or would we forgive our past and let go of it all? Would we start fresh if I just gave you a call? No, I could, maybe I should, but I never will, so I live in the woods. Nostalgia made my mind roam. Now I call this place home. No black and white, just walls of green. Cause it never dies and it grows like a weed. Would I be your bride if I hadn't run? Would you like the person that I've become? Would we forgive our past and let go of it all? Would we start fresh if I just gave you a call? Well, I know I could, maybe I should, but I never will, so I live in the woods. Would I push past the cold feet? Would I regret taking the leap? Would I make nice with your family would you be able to trust me would we finally see eye to eye would we learn how to compromise would we stay happy till we die would we would you would i would i would i be your bride if i had run would you like person that I've become, would we forgive our past and let go of it all? Would we start fresh if I just gave you a call? Well, I know I could, maybe I should, but I never will. Well, I know I could, maybe I should, but I never will. Well, I know I could, maybe I should, but I never will. So I live in the woods. I love that. I love your wordplay. You're such a great songwriter. Oh, thank really. you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Alora, for coming on here. And I hope you have a great rest of your night. Thanks so much. You as well. <laughs>